Hi, and welcome to Transparent Research 101. Why is it so difficult to reproduce scientific studies? One of the reasons is in the way we traditionally publish our papers. Papers have to be concise. Journals give us a limited amount of words, figures and tables that we can use so that we have to select the methods and parameters we want to report. In addition, data and software, when available, are in the supplementary material and not embedded in the paper body. Finally, until a few years ago, there were no permanent, large and free repositories for data and software that provided a digital object identifier or DOI. Some scientists made the effort of putting their data and code on personal repositories, but unfortunately, these often get deleted. So, in the traditional way of publishing, papers are just the tip of the iceberg. There is much more work about a paper that stays hidden. Data, code, collaborations, grant writing, etc. Analyzing this context, David Danahoe from Stanford University wrote An article about computational science in a scientific publication is not the scholarship itself, it's merely scholarship advertisement. The actual scholarship is the complete software development environment and the complete set of instructions which generated the figures and it's impossible to verify most of the results that computational scientists present at conferences and in papers. So, what can we do? Back in 1992, Claire Bout, a geophysicist from Stanford University, proposed that an author attaches to every figure caption a push button or a name tag usable to recalculate the figure from all its data, parameters and programs. This provides a concrete definition of reproducibility in computationally oriented research. And this can of course be applied also to the analysis of data from biology, life sciences and any other discipline. Before going into practical examples on how to create reproducible papers and research in general, let's try to answer one last question. What are the benefits of transparent research? Let's have a look at it in the next video.